Hey, what's up? I'm Raja from Charger Games and welcome to the 17th, I guess, 17th episode of how to create a 2D car racing game with Unity. So in the last video, we have actually created these cool buttons, uh, which will actually appear whenever the game is over. But as you can see, whenever we play the game, these buttons are already there, but we don't want them to be here already. We want them to appear only when the game is over. Okay, so in order to achieve that, uh, first of all, we have to disable all of these buttons and we have to enable them whenever the game is over. So let's select all of them by using the control button, by using the control key on the keyboard, select all of them and let's disable from the inspector all of them. You can also individually disable them by clicking here or enable them by clicking here. So now from the script we have to do something so that we can actually enable all of them at the time of the game over. So let's open the UI manager script. So at first I want to create an array of buttons. Yes, an array of buttons. So write public button buttons. Okay. So what this will do is this will create an array of buttons I think I have to put it okay okay this is C sharp man <laughs> I was putting the syntax of C++ by the way so okay so here we have actually created an, an array of buttons inside which we have to put all those buttons and whenever the game is over we have to activate all the buttons inside this array okay so if I look at here as you can see and if I select the car now if I select the UI manager yes you can see here we have got an array of buttons and if I press this small rectangle and expand it you can see we have a size 0 if I make the size 3 not 30 if I make the size 3 and press enter we have three elements of our array so in these three elements we're gonna attach we're gonna assign our buttons so first of all in the element 0 let's put the replay button in the element 2 element 1 in just put the menu and in the element 3 let's put the exit button so now all these things have been assigned to our array so now using this buttons array we can access these buttons okay so whenever the game is over whenever the game is over here as you can see the game over activated is called whenever the game is over from here where we are actually colliding the uh, colliding with the enemy cars this game over is activated is calling and the game over is true so here what we want to do is here we want to create a for loop and using the we want to create a for each loop and using that loop we want to activate all of these buttons okay so let's go and inside the game over activated right for each so for each is basically same as for but uh, while using with it with arrays it is easier to use for each buttons so right right in me button button in buttons so what this will do is it will create a button game object okay so we are creating an object of this button class that means we are creating a button and inside that we are storing an element of this buttons array okay so one by one we are every time one by one we are storing one we are taking one element from this buttons array and putting it inside this button and then we have to activate that button so button dot game object dot set active equals true okay so what this will do is this will take the button uh, take the button game object and set it to true or that or it will activate it to true so let me tell you one more time what is happening here so inside the for each loop you know that the buttons array 
the buttons array is basically an array containing these three buttons here okay so here what we're doing is we are creating a simple button object of this button class that is this so this is a simple button object and inside this we are assigning one element from this button each time so the first time when the for loop calls gets called this replay button is assigned and we are activating it then the menu button is assigned and we are activating it and next time the exit button is assigned and we are activating it again so after uh, the iteration has been completed after all the buttons in the array have been completed we have already activated all the buttons in our game so these three buttons will be activated whenever that happens and I have messed something up here I don't know what the left hand side of an assignment must be a variable a property or indexer I don't know what is that let's see where is that 34 or something I think button the game object or oh, say active I don't know what I've done that I think I've done it correct but under game object uh, let's see what is there there's nothing else okay you have to make it small is this a function okay I know what I was doing actually <laughs> okay so this is actually a function that we have to call and inside that we have to pass through I don't know why I, I was doing so I think this should go now okay this has gone so here basically you have to call the set active function from the button and pass through inside it so that means we want the button to be activated from here so now let's go ahead and play and see what I have done so play it as you can see at the runtime there are no buttons and when the game is over the buttons get activated so it is awesome <laughs> actually I'm loving it if I play it again the button, get, button is gone and if, again the button comes so this is really really cool and I loved creating this you guys don't have any idea how much I'm learning while teaching you guys so thank you very very much for supporting me and being a part of my channel so thank you very 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 much for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and loved this video if you have any questions or comments just write those in comments and I'll be very very happy to help you so thank you very very much for watching this video watching this video and have a great day thanks